Community Hotline is made possible with generous support by the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission. The Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission advocates on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels. Hi, and welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel, and we're in Gresham at Metro East Community Media. Now we're gonna close out the show tonight talking with another person who works here at Metro East, and it happens to be my boss. Hi. Welcome, Marty Jones. Thank you, I appreciate being here, Monica. Well, it's, it's, it's great. Honor. Well, this is kind of fun, because you are our new CEO, even though you've been here a while, um, it's still less than a year. Yeah. Our, our old CEO, Rob Brading, retired after 24 years, and you've come in and brought breathe fresh life into the organization and it, it's been it's been a, um, a roller coaster and a joy <laughs> well I'm glad it's been a joy it, it has know, been a I joy. happen to love roller coasters yeah, well there so, you go so you do know, I combine so, the two together so tell um, tell our viewers if you could just a, a real brief background about you know where'd you come from how'd you end up getting here at Metro East well you know I have only been in Oregon for seven years mm -hmm. and what brought me here was the opportunity to rebrand um, one of our venerable institutions here uh, Oregon Episcopal School, right, which at right. the time was 142 years old. It's almost 150 wow. years old. Uh, it's the oldest boarding school in the continental United States, west of the Rockies. And that's what got me here was okay. the opportunity to do that. But my 25 year career preceding that has all been in the movie and television business. Uh, so I was down in LA area. In Los Angeles. Okay. I, I grew up in Columbus, Ohio, and um, I did public access. Ooh. I think we're going to, I think someone found an old yeah, clip yeah, of me did, did. that we'll show later. But I, I grew up in Columbus, went to Denison University, and then went straight to Hollywood after I graduated. Wow. So I was a kid who picked up a movie camera when I was nine years old. And before that, I was in my dad's dark room mixing yeah. chemicals and, and hanging prints to dry and have just been fascinated by images ever since I was a kid and you know three community-based organizations and media really impacted me as a teenager one of them was the Community Film Association another was the National Black Programming Consortium mm -hmm. and another one was Access Columbus Public Access wow. Television and all and three now, of these organizations you know and now I'll bring you right back you so say you've gone full circle full circle full circle so I know you've been doing a lot here at Metro East and you really have made some significant changes and kind of steering us in a different direction which has all been very good but you've also kept your hand in the production world and you've been you know keeping keeping that alive so tell me a little bit about some of the productions that you've personally been involved with here at Metro East and that was one of the things that made the job really appealing to me was an opportunity to keep flexing those skills you know I worked mm -hmm. at Disney I worked at the company that most viewers would now know as Lionsgate, mm -hmm. an earlier iteration of that, right. um, black entertainment television, and you know, produced a lot of car commercials and you know, uh, music videos. Uh, you know, it's it's been a fun, fun career. Yeah. And you know, the diversion that brought me to Oregon, doing the marketing and rebranding for OES, was a lot of fun. I got to go to work with my kids, which is great. Oh, that's, yeah, that's you know, right. That's always a plus. But yeah. to come back to media and to come back to my 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 Your my wheelhouse here. and my passion, <laughs> I mean, it was just. It was, uh, you know, irresistible, and you know, to have a place where there's state-of-the-art studios and equipment, and you know, super smart staff and, and community producers to work with. You know, yeah. I, I, you know, I think you all had a bet how long it would take before <laughs> I got out of the CEO chair and back on the set. It didn't I didn't take know very about long. this. It, it, it was less than six months. So in four months, we did the comedy special at um, uh, Revolution Hall, where we teamed up with the uh, Portland Mercury, the um, mm -hmm. uh, indisputable, uh, undisputable is the word they chose, undisputable Ge geniuses, geniuses of, of comedy. comedy. Yes. Um, we got to do a short film called uh, Modern Dark, and uh, also we got invited to the White. House. I mean, that's incredible. The first production that I really asked the staff to consider was a film um, to compete in the um, White House Student Film Festival. And some of our 13 year olds that go to school in Rockwood at Reynolds right. Schools uh, met with filmmakers and staff, and they came up with a really heavy duty subject matter film. We'll yeah. see a little bit in a minute about youth incarceration. And the prompt was the world I want to live in. Yeah. And to submit. Uh, 750 films from across the country and as far away as Guam and 
Puerto Rico and other U.S. territories and to get an email from the White House in September that said our film was invited to the White House. So you were one of the finalists. We were one of the, the 27 top. films that got That's invited impressive. to the White House. So Very impressive. So we, you got to take those kids from the Rockwood area to the White House. Exactly. Yeah. And to go from Rockwood to the White House, from Gresham to, to, to the White House in 24 hours was amazing. Pretty, pretty I've been impressive. to the White House as a tourist. I lived in Virginia yeah. for eight years. I've never been invited to the White House. Pretty and cool. Pretty I wasn't cool. invited. The kids that work with us here at Metro East were they invited. They took you to the White they House. They took me to the White there House. I was just the guy <laughs> that, you know, had the, the credit card. Right, you know, right, and, and, right. And it was wonderful. They got to go to Senator Wyden's office and Senator Merkley's office. Something um, they'll never forget. They'll never Something forget they'll it. Well, you, you uh, Emily, our director here, she um, compiled little snippets from those three productions, the comedy. Uh, show the modern dark show and um, letters and numbers, which oh. was uh, so. I think we should just take a quick look at that now and and get a feel for what you've been up to. All right, great. Okay. Guys, you're gonna love this next comic. Please welcome my friend and his, Alex Falco. <laughs> A good friend of mine is pregnant, which is awesome. It means one less friend to worry about. My dad <laughs> kissed me in the mouth until I was five years old. <laughs> I like to open up with something a little personal. I don't know if any of you here likes to play, play pranks on people or mess with people. I kind of like to do that. Um, one thing you can do is you can go to like a big department store and you find the customer service desk and you just go and ask them questions you should not be asking them. <laughs> It's all my fault. All I did was steal a cell phone, and that's in the past. Please, just please don't disown me. That's some pretty intense stuff you have going on there. That's that's great. That's great stuff. That's not like the community media stuff that you think about from back in the day. You right. Know? It's not yeah. Wayne's World or you no. Know, it's not Wayne's World. It's not access. Wayne's World. Yeah. Um, so we also have, I think, a few pictures from that trip to the White House, and I'd love to take a look at those because that had to have been so exciting for those kids and you. But yeah, well, that's a really big deal. It, it was, and they and they, they rolled out the red carpet for them. Uh, that's so you great. Know, and to stand behind one of the teenagers and hear the lady hand him his pass and say, "Welcome to the White House." Oh, how I mean, good! Look was, at these That was kids. just transformative, you know. And so uh, they replicated South by Southwest as okay. South by South Lawn at it. the White House um, last October. And these are the kids you And these took are two. Of the, these are uh, the brother and sister, um, uh, Dante and Zen, and uh, their mom. We couldn't take all the kids involved right, with the right. film. And so it worked out that uh, Dante was there, got to walk Filmmaker. down the red carpet Filmmaker. and answer yeah. questions. Amy Poehler's company was there doing wow. videos and interviews. And Alfre Woodard and Ty Burrell from uh, Modern God. Family wow. were, the, were the hosts. And they had the creators of Stranger Things there. And the cast was there. And it was for this small group of you know kids. That's uh, so cool. It was That's wonderful. So cool. It was, oh, it there was you transformative. Are. Yeah. yeah, there we are in front of the uh, executive uh, building next to the White House. Oh, man. And there's mom. Uh, yeah. Josie on the left and Tony, the producer, and um, Adam there uh, with the beard is uh, the mentor filmmaker who oh, worked okay. with the group okay, in developing great. their idea. Oh, and he's got a big heart and passion for mm. social justice and, and using film as a transformative yeah. medium. And, you know, here we are, we had an opportunity to, you know, put a, a, a project from idea to, you know, this unifying ubiquitous mm -hmm. thing called YouTube and then have the kids see that their ideas and the film that we helped them to make impacted people in Washington D.C. and invited them. And to the come reception to, share it. to the to this film has been really tremendous. It has uh, been. Yeah. Uh, Senator Wyden's office, in particular, 
has a lot of millennials working in yeah. there, and they really were impacted by the film. That's and so we shot great. it at the Wapato prison. I mean, yeah. we, you know, we shot it at a real prison. That's uh, yeah. it, was, it was pretty amazing. That's, pretty that's amazing. great. That's great. So, you know, um, we we're talking about your your past as a, a community media producer back in, in oh Ohio, no. Oh no. and we were able to dig up a little bit of footage from. Uh, back in the day, so back in the day. Maybe, maybe we can get the control room to, to roll that for us. Okay, I'm for, scared to look. <laughs> I'm ready for a good chuckle. Okay, well let's see what they have. <laughs> oh my oh gosh. My. Film Association presents. I'm Martin C. Jones, and I'm the director of the Premier Festival Showcase presented by the Community Film Association throughout the summer. As I said, this is our seventh annual showcase here in Columbus, where we show films and bring films to the Columbus public that have never been premiered in the city before. That's can, so cute. Can, can I get that body back, <laughs> you know, and that hair? <laughs> your son's, that looks like yeah, your son. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I think my like son's it. have got that. Yeah, yeah, it looked just like that. Oh, that's, that's 1986. So that was oh, my wow. senior year, uh, right mm -hmm. after I graduated from college. Uh, I had actually gone from being a kid in a community organization mm -hmm. to being the summer festival director. Wow. You know, and, and those kind of opportunities do exist in places like from this. From community media. Yeah, And yeah. those three opportunities really set me on a course that, you know, helped me to thrive in my you know years in Hollywood yeah. and, and working all around the country. Well, so Started when you came there. here, what surprised you about it? Was there anything that surprised you about Metro East and about your experience here? I mean, your million dollar smile. <laughs> <laughs> right. See, flattery will get you on television. <laughs> right, right. No, um, you know, what really struck me um, really loud and clear at Metro East was the deep, deep um, connections with the community mm. and the partnerships and how we have a really um, complicated service area in that we are a part of five different jurisdictions. We are right. part of uh, and receive funding through Gresham, uh, Wood Village, Troutdale, Fairview, and Multnomah County. County. Mm -hmm. And to see how well you all work with those groups, that was very appealing to me. I mean, I did a lot of asking around and talked to people. You were out there meeting and greeting. And I was right like, you know, that. exploring Gresham yeah. and, and yeah. you know, really uh, at each opportunity I had in the search process, you know, really got a chance to learn about the city. And all of that was really cemented for, cemented for me even today when I was at the uh, Mayor Bemis' State of the City Wasn't address. That that was, I mean, that was I was just the wind, I'm getting goosebumps, mm -hmm. the wind in my sails. I mean, to hear a politician talk about people, connection, partnership, mm -hmm being our brothers and sisters keepers, working together, yeah. building coalitions, fixing infrastructure. It was very it, empowering. It was very, very um, empowering. Yeah. You know, and, and, and in this positive. era and time, it was just a, a breath of fresh air. And that's really clear about what's going on in East County. There is a commitment to nonprofits and community mm -hmm. hotline. I mean, that's what we're all about. The is big gem for yeah. me was the aha moment was Here's a television show that's the longest running community affairs television show in the state. It's been on the air for 20 years. Yeah. And I know you've only been the host for three years. No, I know. Seven, Ten, I think. Yeah, I think seven. I'm seven or somewhere you around know, there, yeah. Uh, but no, not 20, yeah. But the amazing thing to me was that we're reaching our 1,000th episode. I'm going to get to be here. Anybody that knows anything about television knows that 1,000 episodes, I mean, that's a milestone yeah. of epic yeah. proportion. I mean, Gunsmoke wasn't. <laughs> at a thousand episodes. The Simpsons is the longest running mm. continuous sitcom show on television. They're not at a thousand episodes uh -huh. yet, but right here in Gresham, Oregon at Metro East Community Media, your show, Community Hotline, that you and Emily put together and our friend Angie created mm -hmm. and that Rob supported and that right. started over at the community college people, and is yeah. at our new place and all the volunteers that are here have made that happen. and. That's an epic milestone. I mean, I'm going to Los Angeles on a business trip in a few days, and I'm going to be talking about Community yeah, Hotline in cool. a thousand episodes. And we have an opportunity to really share Community Hotline even more with partners in the community. And so, um, one of the things that I've hint that I've clicked in on is that in those 20 years, you're doing 40 episodes a year. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think we have a graphic to go along with this. Yeah, if uh, we can bring up know, any of the pictures uh, that we have. For over this, 100 guests, you're, 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 you're profiling and featuring, you know, yeah. um, numerous nonprofits. I saw your list of all the nonprofits it's, that it's have been very, on the show. Yeah, it's amazing. There's not an organization in this area that hasn't been, you know, impacted by 
um, community hotline. And so what we're going to be doing now is reaching out and, and talking to the business community, you know, and following the sort of the PBS model, the OPB model, I'm bringing some underwriters in. Under you know, we have one great underwriter, mm -hmm. uh, Mount Hood um, Cable, uh, Cable Regulatory mm -hmm. Commission, and we're going to be reaching out to other businesses to support our efforts here. And because they're going to be the first people doing this, they're not only going to be able to get recognition through Community Hotline, but also our holiday showcase where we do 10 specials and have over It'll 500 people come It'll be a good deal for them here as well as Absolutely, us, yeah. we just finished yeah. the Mount Hood Conference uh, basketball varsity with the high schools here in, yeah. in our area. That's so there's fun. a lot going on. We have our Spanish language version mm -hmm. of yeah. uh, Community Hotline, Nuestra Comunidad. I'm excited. That, that's what really that nailed it for me, Monica, yeah. was that we have such a vibrant connection to the community through our programming. That's great. You know, we're, we're just about out of time here, so um, just really, really briefly, um, looking forward to the sponsorship. Um, tell me real quick, Rockwood, in like 30 seconds or less, what's going on with Rockwood? The Rockwood DIY, which you coined that term, <laughs> uh, it's sort of a riff off of do-it-yourself, but it stands for Digital Inclusion and in Youth, is our pop-up um, incubation technology site right in Rockwood at the site of Rockwood Rising at 187th and Stark. Mm -hmm. We're in the old um, uh, community building and we've renovated half that building and Metro East is making a $100,000 investment in Rockwood and teaching digital equity and inclusion. And we just graduated our first class of 14 adults. We watched 23 children. Yeah, uh, we had to offer child care. care. We, yeah. we learned about feeding our students and their children hot meal every Thursday night. Wow. And at the end, through our friends at Free oh. Geek, they got to go home with a computer that they owned, a desktop oh. computer. That's now they're awesome. here, they're learning on laptops, okay. uh, Chromebooks, but they got to go home with a computer that they owned That's at the end. That's awesome. That's awesome. We're out of time. I gotta let you go. Thank you, Marty. Can I thanks. come back? Yes, you can. You can <laughs> oh, come thank back. You, you, thank you so much. And thanks for watching Community Hotline. Marty is here. You can come see him and meet him and find out more about Rockwood and all the other wonderful things we're doing here at Metro East. I'm Monica Weisel. We'll see you here next week on Community Hotline. is made possible with generous support by the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission. The Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission advocates on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels.